I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to sketch graph of a function with rational exponents. It's a very important exercise and I hope it will benefit you all. Question is sketch graph of the function f of x equals to x to the power of 5 over 3 minus 5 times x to the power of 2 over 3. Now we could expect cusp and corners for this particular graph remember that. So let's write down the function itself, which is f of x is equals to x to the power of 5 over 3 minus 5 times x to the power of 2 over 3. So let's begin by writing the derivatives. So first derivative will be 5 over 3 times x to the power of 5 over 3 minus 1, that gives you 2 over 3, minus 5 times 2 over 3 x to the power of 2 over 3 minus 1 which is minus 1 over 3. You could actually simplify this taking 5 over 3 common x to the power of minus 1 over 3 is also common so you're left with here x right when you take away minus of minus 1 over 3 you get x and value 2 from here minus 2. So that's what you get for the first derivative. Now let's analyze this first derivative. It is actually, it has got two critical numbers. So the critical numbers here are when x equals to 0, that is in the denominator, and x equals to 2. So these are the two critical numbers for us. So let's say this is 1 and this is the other one. So we are talking about these critical numbers 0 and, and 2. So let's take a test point on either side. So we could have minus 1, 1 and 3 as the test points. If I substitute minus 1, so we are trying to analyze the uh, first derivative, correct? If I substitute minus 1 here, in that case, this will be negative and the radical will also be negative. So both of them will be negative. So that will be negative times negative which will result in positive. Is it okay? Means increasing slope. Perfect. If I substitute 1 here, we get 1 here and a negative number. So negative portion here downwards. If I substitute 3, both will be positive so upwards. Clearly we have maximum at 0. So we have a maximum, we can write here, maximum is f of 0. If I substitute 0 here, I get 0, right? How about minimum? We get minimum at f of 2, f of 2. So, so let's substitute 2 here and calculate the value. So we have 2 to the power of 5 over 3 minus 5 times 2 to the power of 2 over 3, correct? Okay, let's calculate this. So we have 2 to the power of 5 over 3, let's put it in brackets, uh, minus 5 times 2, both are 2, yeah, x is 2, 5 times 2 to the power of 2 over 3. So we have 2 over 3. Okay. Let's see how much it is. It gives me minus, let me write down this value, minus 4.76. So that is your minimum. So we have got local maximum and minimum by analyzing critical numbers of first derivative. So that's what we have done. Now let's figure out what is the second derivative. Second derivative will be derivative of this, which is 5 over 3 times 2 over 3 x to the power of 2 over 3 minus 1 gives me minus 1 over 3 minus. We have 5 times 2 over 3 times minus 1 over 3. So that minus 1 over 3, I'll make this as positive and write 1 over 3. Is it okay? So I made this positive because of this minus and we have x to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1, that gives me minus 4 over 3. Okay, go through this calculation once again. You might have 
some confusion. Okay, doesn't matter. It'll be fine. So now we can take a common factor, which seems to be, we'll analyze in this place, so I'll, I'll do further downwards. So 5 and 2, both numerators, 10. 3 times 3, we have 9. So 10 over 9. x to the power of, this is always lower, 4 over 3. And we have, if I take away 4 over 3 from here, I get x here, right? And plus, plus 2. Uh, no, plus 1, correct. So plus 1, that is what we get. Now let's analyze the second derivative. So we are analyzing the second derivative, undefined at 0, so it is undefined at 0, let me take this undefined at 0, and it is 0 at minus 1, 0 at minus 1. So these are two points where we could have point of inflection, is it okay? Right. Now let's see, take a test point on either side, so it could be minus 2 minus 0 0.5 or half and 1. So for the second derivative, that's our function. If I write minus 2 here, then we have negative and negative, which makes it positive, right? Uh, if I write minus 2 here, so what is this? This is positive, sorry. So if I have minus 2 here, since the power is 4 here, this term is always positive. Perfect. So we get negative answer here. So that is, let me use different thing. So if we have negative, we have concave down, correct? We have concave down. If I write negative 0.5, this will be positive. So it will be concave up. Remember, this is always positive because of 4, right? Now, if I take a value which is more than, uh, more than 0, zero a positive value then of course this will be all positive right so so for more than this is always positive so this portion is also positive as you can see we have only one point of inflection and that is at one correct so let's find what is the value of the function at one so if i substitute one here i get one minus five times one which is minus 4, correct? So we get minus 4 uh, as the value at 1, correct? Okay. Uh, I have still to check this value because if this is, uh, oh, we have to multiply by 10 over 4 also. Wait. Uh, here we have substitute 1. I'm sorry, this is not 1, but minus 1. That is why minus 1. So if I substitute minus 1 here, so this is minus 1, correct? And minus and minus makes it uh, so this is always positive. Let's redo this. Okay, let's redo this. So I have to actually find the value of f of minus 1, not 1, f of minus 1. So that gives me minus 1 to the power of 5 over 3 minus 5 times minus 1 to the power of 2 over 3, correct? Now this is always positive. So what we get here is minus 1 and this is positive. So it is minus 5 and that gives you minus 6 as your value. Is it okay? So we get minus 6 at this point. So we have point of inflection at minus 1 minus 6. Now with this we should be in a position to sketch the graph. So let's try to do it. So let us say that's the x, y axis. This is the x axis. What we have figured out is we have local maximum at 0, 0. So we have a maximum here. We have a point of inflection at minus 1. So let's say this is minus 1. And then we also have a max local minimum at 2. So this is 1, this is 2. Okay. The portion of the graph which is on the left side of minus 1 is concave down. And at minus 1, we have point of inflection at minus 6. Let's say this is minus 6 for us. 
So the graph which is on the left side of minus 1 is concave down. So we could do it like this. Is it okay? We have absolute maximum here and the graph is concave up. So it's kind of like this. During this portion, the concavity is concave up and we have a local minimum somewhere here. So we could draw this as like this. And this local minimum value is minus 4.76. And this point is minus 6. Do you see that? So that is how we could actually sketch our function. So this is f of x. So I hope you understand how we can actually sketch the function from first and second derivative of this particular function. So what we observe here is that we have point of inflection at minus 1, a local maximum at 0, local minimum at 1. The function is concave down from minus infinity to minus 1 and it's concave up thereafter. I hope that helps you to understand the concept how to analyze first and second derivatives and sketch the graph of the functions. I'm Anil Kumar. Feel free to share your comments. Subscribe to my videos and if you like that be great. Thank you and all the best.